Do you know what really sucks? Is sitting down to edit your project and realizing that you have gaps in your coverage or shots missing? You need to have a really good, specific, and detailed shot list. Head over to filmmakersecrets.com slash shot list, S-H-O-T-L-I-S-T, to get a killer shot list template along with some training where I show you step-by-step exactly how to use it. If you focus on your tempo and keeping a steady pace, I promise you things will turn out the way that you want them to. Filmmakers have the power to evoke emotion, inspire thought, and drive universal change in this world. Right now, a real seismic shift is happening in the film industry. This is your best chance to join a new filmmaking movement. You have been called to create an everlasting impact with your unmatched, deep desire to tell authentic stories. So how does a filmmaker thrive in an environment that is almost intentionally designed to bring you down? That is the question, and this podcast reveals the answer. What's happening, filmmakers? It's George VK. Welcome to Filmmaker Secrets, episode number... I don't remember. Uh, I might be sounding very different right now because the microphone that I've had for over 10 years is finally given in. It is uh, recording some weird feedback and lag time and, and echo. It has had its moment. Its time has come to let go of the old and ancient MXL brand SB006 microphone. So I'm recording on my phone through AirPods, and I hope that it's crystal clear, much better than if I were to use the old microphone. So today I wanted to quickly give you an update. I have some very good news. I got an email from the organizers at the 48-Hour Film Festival, and we are nominated. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. I was quite elated to find out that news. It's very affirming and reassuring to know that your talents, your ability to get very talented people together, to get a, a good performance out of people, even with a minuscule crew and very limited time, especially because I had to fly out uh, in the middle of the actual competition. So I actually ended up having to edit overnight, finish it up in the morning, and got it in way ahead of time. I think I was about six or seven hours ahead of the actual deadline to upload the film. And so it's really great news to find out that we're nominated. Our film is going to be one of 12 to screen at the actual best of screening. We'll get an award and then we'll find out who got the best film award. And there'll probably be some audience choice awards and whatnot. All the good stuff, a red carpet premiere, so to say. It's it's exciting, it's really fun. Uh, I'm pumped to say the least. (laughs) Uh, But, you know, over the past couple of days, I've been thinking about something in terms of consistency and and the idea behind consistency and what, what that really means. Because much like releasing an episode weekly for a podcast, we as filmmakers have to deal with consistency all the time. You know, the, the consistency with which you direct your actors, the consistency with which you write your screenplays, edit your films, you know, even though we're constantly evolving and always learning, there is still this need to uh, be releasing and creating and telling stories on a consistent basis. So what does that really mean and, and how does that help us? Well, it's it's all about continuing to improve and get better at our craft right? It's the consistency is what gives us that reassurance that we are still human, we're still uh, flawed, but we're always uh, striving to get better, to improve, to learn something new, Uh, even if we make mistakes, especially if we make mistakes, we're that much better uh, coming out the other side. And that makes me think of uh, a story from 
years and years ago, I went on my first hike uh, on a 14er. And for those of you that are not from Colorado, a 14er is a, a peak of a mountain that is at least 14,000 feet. So it's not the most easy hike, and there's definitely varying levels of difficulty when it comes to 14ers. I think Colorado has over 50 peaks that are over 14,000 feet. And this was my first one. It's called Mount Princeton. And it's definitely not a, a beginner, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, ascend. Uh, it was definitely difficult. My brother invited me to go along with him and his friends. And they were, you know, staying up late drinking. I was underage, so I wasn't drinking at the time. But uh, we had to wake up early because you want to get up to the summit somewhere before the afternoon because then there's the danger of, you know, afternoon storms and getting caught in the rain. That's something that you definitely want to avoid if any of you guys decide to go on a hike to a 14er peak. Uh, so we we got up at 4 a.m., packed up the car, and drove over to the uh, base of the mountain. And as we started hiking, I, of course, brought my camera. Always bring your camera with you. You never know what kind of beauty you're going to encounter, what you're going to want to capture. Whether you're doing stills or video, it doesn't matter. It's all about creating uh, circumstances to where you can tell different stories, whether you're doing photography or film. And so as we start walking, I absolutely have no idea what to expect. And I start to get winded and I obviously start to get tired early on because my body's not used to that kind of elevation to that kind of strain on your muscles, you know, as the oxygen starts to become more depleted, at higher elevation, you start to have a lot more shallow of breathing and uh, your muscles start to almost go against your brain and telling you to quit, to stop and not keep going. And I kept wanting to stop to take pictures. Obviously, you know, you're seeing all this beauty around you and you want to capture it. You want to take advantage of the moment, especially with, uh, you know, the, the golden hour as the sun is coming up early in the morning. And the light is just bathing the landscape in such a beautiful and inviting way. You want to stop and take a moment, take a pause, take a photo, <laughs> you know, for memory's sake. Because God knows you're going to want to look back at those photos later. And it brings me back to something my brother told me. You know, he in his most loving brother, you know, big brother way, he told me, just don't stop. You know, I promise you the view at the top is going to be so much more beautiful than what you're seeing here. Don't stop. He told me just focus on putting one foot in front of the other, one step after a step, step after step. And he told me, set a pace for yourself, you know, whatever pace that is, whether it's a slower one or a medium pace, whatever it is that you're comfortable with, as long as you can keep a consistent pace and a tempo without stopping, that's the only way to conquer the mountain, especially if it's your first one that's not the most uh, easy hike with the big ascend, lots of rocky areas that you actually have to climb on all fours. And so I focused on my steps. I focused on keeping them consistent and a steady pace. And I did my best not to worry about, you know, taking a photo every step of the way with every switchback. It looked beautiful. And it kept looking even more and more beautiful the higher up we went. But I focused on putting my left foot in front of the right, putting my right foot in front of the left, and just keep going. Keep a steady pace. And I think that relates to our industry so well, because as filmmakers, we are always striving to reach the next level, right? To level up, to uh, finish that film, to finish that script, to cast that one actor that you've always wanted to work with, to get a chance to work with that one DP that you admire so much. To be able to tell that story that you've had in your notebook, scribbled down 
for so long, but you're afraid to take the next step because you want to admire the moment that you're in. Uh, but it would be it would behoove us to actually focus on taking those baby steps one after another, knowing that if we keep it at a steady pace, at a steady tempo, we'll be able to reach the summit at the end of the day, no matter what. If you take those steps one after another, without distractions, without all the social media, without all the crazy news that are going on in the world, if you focus on your tempo and keeping a steady pace, I promise you things will turn out the way that you want them to. Eventually, with time, things will turn out the way that you want them to. There's just absolutely no way. It also makes me think of something that Will Smith said when I saw him at a conference that I was working. It was a financial conference, so I'm not quite sure <laughs> why Will Smith was involved. But he told the story about his dad where his father would have him and his brother build this brick wall. So they would be laying bricks down uh, one after the other. Uh, every day after school, they would come home and lay bricks to build this wall. They didn't quite know why they were doing it. So one day, Will decided to ask their father, like, what, why, why are we doing this? You know, what, what's the purpose behind us building this wall? And his father kind of took a pause and looked at both of them straight in the eye and said, no matter what anybody in life tells you, no matter how many people doubt you or tell you no, if you lay one brick at a time, one after the other, there's absolutely no way that you will not have a brick wall after. So them laying one brick after another, seemingly without a purpose, their father was teaching them that very important lesson of throwing the distractions of everyday life out the window and just focusing on taking one step after another, laying one brick after another. And if you keep at that pace, whatever pace that you're comfortable with, and be patient, you know, patience is definitely part of this formula. There's absolutely no way that you will not have a wall at the end. There's absolutely no way that you will not reach the summit of the mountain. So with that, I would love to send you off with this final thought of, you know, no matter how many different motivational speakers you listen to, no matter how many inspirational quotes you read on Instagram, it pays to be patient and to keep a steady pace when you're taking one step at a time. Here's to your next story, filmmakers. Keep creating, keep shooting, keep editing, keep striving forward. Never give up. I care about you. Do your thing. We'll talk soon. If you like that, then you are going to love my Cine Racing Challenge. This is a seven-day filmmaking competition where your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to write, shoot, and edit a short 60-second film in just seven days for your one chance to win with over $10,000 in prizes. So head over to CineRacing.com. That's C-I-N-E-R-A-C-I-N-G.com to get registered spots are filling up fast and the timer is ticking before the next Sydney Racing Challenge launches so be sure to head over to SydneyRacing.com right now to get registered. I'll see you over there. <laughs>